Parents, hello everyone at DIS. I'm going to talk to you for just a couple minutes about math's new blueprint or which is our list of required materials. So here I've actually pulled up sixth grade. I know it looks a little different, but I'm going to show you how we're using this to help support our students. So if you come in closer, you can see right here that we listed the common core standard and we try to help out by giving you key items to know. So for this one, it's 6NSC6, but we know it's integers on a number line, we know it's changing integers, and we know it's going to be five questions on the test. So how do I use this to see exactly what my students need to study? I can take this standard, which is NSC6, and the first thing I can do is look in the textbook. Each lesson that the child has done, I look at the textbook, has the same common core standard right in front of it in the table of contents. In this case, like we talked about with integers, we talked about NSC6, that's ordering. We also talked about NSC7, which is absolute value. If you see here, you see NS7C. Also, when we turn the page just a little bit more, when we come away from the table of contents, we go to Common Core Standards for Math. This is exactly where everything is in the book. So we look one more time for 6NS6C. Here's 6NS6, but if I go down, there's A, there's B, and here is C. Right here is to find the positions of integers. It's taught in your standards 9 and 10, pages 53, 54, 56, 331, 332, and 334. So if even the teacher hasn't gone to all the lessons, you're able to still find it there to help support you. So that's how you can use the book by just going in and finding that. But if we also did a different way, if you continue looking and you take this and you copy it and then you paste it into your internet, when you hit Google, what happens is you find a whole bunch of information on that standard. So now you've opened up your review stop opportunities. There's betterlesson.com that has information on that. There's the number system. There's another organization right here. But what we've always talked about is Khan Academy. So we are asking our students to utilize Khan Academy. We track their progress. We check exactly what they do. And they do receive marks or reports on the report card for all the work they do in Khan Academy. So here in Khan Academy, we can click on this button and your student will be able to log in using their account that they have with the teacher and they'll be able to receive video in regards to that exact standard. So even if you don't understand it, they're able to receive live video help that will be able to turn around and help explain the process. So right here we have the dividing NSA1, but we're going all the way down to NS. C6 right here, and it gives you 10 different 